a flight from New York to London takes around seven hours. That's nearly an entire workday spent cramped in a plane, eating pre-packaged meals and hoping for a smooth landing. But what if, in the near future, you could make that same journey in under an hour? Sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie, right? Well, not if a $20 trillion idea turns into reality. Imagine stepping into a sleek, futuristic pod in Manhattan, sipping your coffee, scrolling through your phone, and before you can even finish an episode of your favorite show, you're already stepping out in London. No jet lag, no turbulence, no wasting an entire day on a flight. That's the vision of the transatlantic hyperloop, a revolutionary transportation concept that could redefine how we travel forever. But hold on, $20 trillion? That's an amount so massive that it's hard to even comprehend. That's nearly the entire GDP of the United States. It's more than the combined economies of India, Japan, and Germany. And yet, some of the world's boldest minds believe that this price tag could be worth it. So, what exactly is this Hyperloop? How does it work? And most importantly, who's paying for it? The Hyperloop isn't exactly a new concept. It was first proposed in the early 1900s, but it wasn't until Elon Musk reignited the idea in 2013 that it became a serious contender for the future of transportation. The idea is simple in theory, but wildly complex in execution. The Hyperloop is essentially a sealed tube system where pods travel at near supersonic speeds using magnetic levitation, or maglev, to reduce friction. Picture a vacuum tube where a pod, carrying passengers or cargo, is propelled using electromagnets, floating above the tracks with no physical contact. The result? Unbelievable speeds of over 700 miles per hour, or 1,200 kilometers per hour, with almost zero energy wasted on drag or resistance. This isn't just a minor upgrade to trains or planes. This is an entirely new way to think about transportation. Instead of massive runways, congested airports, or sprawling highways, the Hyperloop is self-contained, efficient, and ultra-fast. No delays due to bad weather, no turbulence, and barely any noise pollution. Now, here's where it gets even crazier. Engineers and visionaries believe that a transatlantic Hyperloop tunnel stretching nearly 5,600 kilometers beneath the ocean could one day connect London and New York in just 50 minutes. Yes, you heard that right. 50 minutes. That's faster than your pizza delivery. Elon Musk, the billionaire genius behind Tesla, SpaceX, and Neuralink, was the one who put the Hyperloop into the mainstream spotlight. Back in 2013, he published a white paper detailing how this futuristic transportation system could work. But he made one thing clear, he didn't want to build it himself. Instead, he challenged companies and engineers worldwide to take up the project. That's when startups like Virgin Hyperloop and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies entered the game, each trying to turn Musk's idea into a reality. But Musk didn't stay out of the Hyperloop race for long. Through the boring company, he's been quietly developing high-speed tunnel systems. His Vegas Loop, a smaller scale Hyperloop project, has already been completed under the Las Vegas Strip with more ambitious plans in the works. And while his direct involvement in the transatlantic Hyperloop remains unclear, one thing is certain. Musk has the technology, the money, and the audacity to make this happen. The question is, does he actually want to? With SpaceX focusing on Mars colonization, Tesla on self-driving cars, and Neuralink on brain-computer interfaces, the Hyperloop might be an innovation Musk leaves for others to perfect. Let's take a second to think about what it would take to build a 3,500-mile underwater vacuum tunnel. First, the tunnel would have to be completely airtight, with ultra-strong materials capable of withstanding the crushing pressures of the Atlantic Ocean. This isn't just about making a waterproof tube, it's about creating a high-tech vacuum chamber that extends across an entire ocean. Then, there's the problem of maintenance. How do you repair something located thousands of feet below the surface? Would we need entire fleets of underwater drones to monitor the structure? What happens if something breaks down mid-journey? And let's not forget about powering the system. A hyperloop of this scale would require an immense energy source, possibly a combination of nuclear power and renewable energy, like solar or wind. 
Could we build floating solar farms in the Atlantic to power the Hyperloop? And here's the big one, safety. What happens if there's a leak? Or worse, a structural failure? At speeds exceeding 700 miles per hour, even the smallest miscalculation could be catastrophic. The Hyperloop is designed to be one of the safest modes of transport, but when you're moving at nearly the speed of sound in a sealed tube beneath an ocean, the stakes are unbelievably high. Now, let's talk money. 20 trillion? That's not just pocket change. It's one of the most expensive projects ever proposed. To put it into perspective, the entire global airline industry is worth around $800 billion. Even the most expensive infrastructure projects, like China's Belt and Road Initiative, barely come close to a fraction of this cost. So, where would the money come from? One possibility is a mix of government funding, private investors, and corporate partnerships. Major players like Tesla, Virgin, and SpaceX could team up, while governments in the US and UK might invest as part of a long-term economic strategy. There's also the potential for ticket revenue, but that raises another question. How much would a Hyperloop ticket cost? Early estimates suggest a one-way ticket from New York to London could range anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 making it comparable to business class airfare. However, as the technology scales and becomes more efficient, prices could drop dramatically. Now, what would this mean for the world? If the Hyperloop becomes a reality, the implications would be massive. Entire industries could be disrupted overnight. The airline industry would take a major hit, with many airlines struggling to compete against a faster, cheaper, and more efficient alternative. Cargo shipping could be revolutionized, with goods moving between continents at speeds never seen before. And let's talk about geopolitics. If the US and the UK successfully develop this technology, it could put them at the forefront of a new era of global connectivity. However, China and Europe are also working on their own Hyperloop systems, meaning this could turn into a high-stakes race for technological dominance. Here's the thing. While the Hyperloop technology itself is progressing rapidly, a project of this scale is still decades away from becoming reality. There are still unanswered questions about feasibility, safety and funding. But let's not forget, people once doubted airplanes, space travel and even the internet. And yet, here we are. If even a fraction of the transatlantic Hyperloop dream comes true, it could redefine the way humans connect. It could bring cities and cultures closer together, boost economies, and fundamentally alter the way we think about distance. So, will we see the Hyperloop replace planes in our lifetime? Maybe, maybe not. But one thing is certain, the future of travel is about to get a whole lot faster. And that's a wrap on the mind-blowing $20 trillion Hyperloop that could change travel forever. What do you think? Will we really see a one-hour trip from New York to London in our lifetime? Or is this just another futuristic dream? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of transportation, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you love content like this, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next big exploration into groundbreaking tech, innovation, and the future of our world. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.